Disclaimer, before watching this video, I remind you that if your battery pack is permanently damaged, it is not my fault. What's up, it's CLT here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Today's tutorial I'll be teaching you how to convert a AAA Legotechnic battery pack, or also referred to as a train kind of battery pack, I'm not really sure, but yeah, it's how to convert it into a 9 volt battery. So basically, you just pull out the AAA thing and then you put a 9 volt battery and a clip into it. So yeah, this is a tutorial how to do that. Um, Pretty straightforward, but also, from the start of the video, it had a disclaimer, yep, I do not have any responsibility for damage like battery packs or anything. I'd just like to say that, but yeah, please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already because this video has taken a long time to edit and everything like that, so yeah, thank you. You will need a 9 volt battery, preferably a name brand. You'll need some electrical tape, pretty standard stuff, you can get it anywhere pretty much. Um, you'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver and obviously the AAA battery pack and um, as you can see if we open it up now um, this is what it would usually have, um, just AAAs um, but yeah um, also we'll need a 9 volt battery clip, you can get them anywhere, eBay or anything like that and um, also you will need some scissors so basically what you're going to need is obviously your AAA battery pack and basically what you want to do is just pull the cover off and um, you'll see that there are four screws there is one on the top left there's one on the bottom left there we go, yep there's one on the bottom left there we've also got one on the bottom right and the top right so yeah there are four screws in total obviously and um, yeah you're probably going to want to unscrew them so as you can see Phillips have screwdriver just unscrew one of them and uh, yeah it's pretty self-explanatory um, yeah, so basically, once you have done that, we'll just wait for it to pop up. Because this is pre-recorded, so this isn't like exactly happening right now, obviously. So it's kind of hard to get everything in sync, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, it's pretty much done now. Um, some screws can be stubborn, so you just got to try and pry them out and stuff like that and be patient. Try not to get too angry. I was kind of annoyed, um, but yeah, as you can see, they've got it out. So now, once you have done it, you just hold the sides of the battery pack and then hold the AAA thing and it should just pop out and um, there are two wires holding it on so you've got to be careful not to rip the wires out of its socket because you want to cut them so you've got something to twist the 9 volt battery clip wires to and um, yeah so basically what you want to do is grab some scissors as you can see I'm cutting them off right now um, just remember to leave a bit of wire so then you can have enough to twist the 9 volt battery clips wires to so yeah, as you can see, finished cutting it off, and now what you want to do is, you can see there are two exposed wires. Um, well, they're not exposed, but you need to make them exposed. So basically, what you want to do is you want to strip them, as you can see we have I have done here. Um, yeah, so they are stripped wires now, so now you can twist the 9-volt battery clip to it. Um, as you can see, um, there's a 9-volt battery clip. You want to make sure you get the colours right. If you don't, well... It's probably not going to turn on or something bad will happen, I'm not sure, but just make sure you get the polarity right. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I have already twisted them together. So um, now basically, you are going to want to head out to a garage and get your soldering iron out. Now I do not recommend continuing on this project if you do not have a soldering iron. It is highly recommended because if you don't have it, well, it's going to mess up everything. Um, it's going to be hard to keep the wires together and stuff like that so yeah I highly recommend you have a soldering iron so basically what I heard you want to do is you want to heat up the copper so as you can see you're going to heat up the positive end um, shouldn't take too long and then also the negative so this is makes the solder bond better or solder whatever you want to call it we all call it differently in different places of the world but now I just want to get your solder and just start like melting it on obviously and just make sure you got a good bond between the two wires because if not it could break free and it could short out the other wire so yeah just make sure do both wires and uh, yeah so just make sure you got a good connection 
So now basically what you want to do is you want to cut out two small pieces of tape and wrap it around the wire. So the reason why we do this is so you don't get the wires shorting out while the case is closed or something like that. So you have to get your second piece of tape, wrap it around the wire like the exposed part and uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory so it doesn't short and stuff like that. So now basically what you want to do is you want to get the casing and basically just cut it exactly here. Now, um, I'm kind of sad I had to do this but obviously I did so basically cut it right here as you can see here so um, yeah, this basically gives the 9 volt battery some room in the casing like and yeah so basically now I'm um, connect up your 9 volt battery and um, just make sure you put the top part like properly and like make sure it's like flush like that so you just push it in like that and uh, yeah so if it's not properly in then the screws won't go in properly so yeah speaking of the screws you want to flip it over like so and you want to grab your two screws only as two now instead of four so you have to set the two the other two screws aside so you don't lose them so now just quickly a screwdriver screw them in as you can see I'm really fast at screwing them in not really but um yeah as you can see um, I've just basically screwed them in and now what you want to do is you want to put some electrical tape over the circuit board so you can prevent any shorts from the metal casing of the 9 volt battery now if you don't do this well Obviously you've got to get a short, so I highly recommend you get some electrical tape. Just throw it over and trim it up if you need to, like that. And uh, yeah, so basically now what you want to do is you're going to want to get the 9 volt battery, place it in the casing, and just tuck away the wire, and uh, yeah, so you don't like get it caught on the case that you put over right now. So as you can see, um, it kind of is getting caught, so you just want to get your finger now and just push it in so it doesn't, you know, stop the casing from closing properly. So as you can see, it is now done. But I would also recommend that you basically put a thick elastic band over it, because if not, well, the casing will just fall off. Since the um, AAA battery pack is missing, the threads are gone for the bottom screws. So, yeah, just throw that on and it should be good. Wow, that took a long time. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. Um, this is a really cool mod this year. Hopefully you guys were successful in doing this mod to your battery pack. Um, I was definitely successful. Um, as you can see at the start, there was a result, and it was a very good result. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and please subscribe. And thank you for watching.